Hey y'all, so, just want to make a video real quick, so I was just on my way back to, to Surrey from Hopkinton, um, Hannah and I don't move for another few weeks, so, still making the trips back and forth, um, and it was kind of late, it's past midnight now, it's 1am, um, it's actually my birthday right now, um, <laughs> anyway, I was on my way back, to Surrey, and it was late. It was like 11.45 almost. Uh, and I was... I got pulled over uh, because my license plate light is out or something in the back, which obviously, like, had no idea, A, that there was even lights on my license plate. Like, didn't know that. Um, and obviously, like, never see the back of my car, so never knew it was out. Um, and... Also, he was, like, saying I had been swerving around a little bit because I was trying to put in my GPS a place, a gas station that was open because the one that I usually stop at is closed at 11. So I was like, oh, shit, I got to find a gas station. Um, so anyway, I had been kind of, like, crossing the L line, apparently, while I was trying to fiddle with that, um, which is my own fault for not doing it in time But before I started driving. But I, you know... It's like almost midnight. There's no one on the road that time. So, um, anyhow, he comes up to me and he's asking me like where I was coming from, where I was going, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, he's like, and I was like nervous because I was like, oh, geez, like I don't, I literally, I was nervous because I always get nervous when I get pulled over because it's like, well, what did I do? Um, and usually it's like probably speeding. But this time I had no clue because I was literally like going to the speed limit and just kind of, didn't really realize I was kind of, you know, swerving a little bit. It wasn't dramatic, but anyway, obviously didn't know about my, my lights. And when I went to get my registration out of my glove box, the whole thing fell out. So then I was like, well, that's annoying. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, and I have like so much stuff in my car because we're moving soon. So I have like this random side table thing that's going to be for like our keys and stuff. I've got like stuff from Christmas, some dress shirts, my all my gym stuff on this seat, like, there's just random stuff everywhere, so he's, like, shining his light all around in the car, like, looking, he's, like, have you been drinking, and I'm, like, nope, like, I'm sober, I don't drink, you know, and he's, like, shining his light around, and he's, like, looking, he's, like, why are you so nervous, then, and I'm, like, well, you know, I was just, like, well, I said to him, I was, like, well, my glove box just fell off, so I was just thinking about, like, oh, shit, gotta fix that, too, and, you know, so then he's like, wondering, he's like, oh, you know, what's in that bag? So I'm like, that's my gym bag. And he's like, shining his light all around. It was so weird. So then finally he takes my stuff. So here's the thing. It's my birthday right now. And I had to update my license because it's been five years. So I updated my legal address to be the address that Hannah and I are moving to, you know, in a couple of weeks. But my mailing address is still my parents' address because... That's where I've been getting mail to right now, and I didn't want my license to get sent to where we're going to move before we move in, because that'd be bad. So I just put that, you know, you can have a different mailing address. And then my registration has my old Keen apartment address. So he comes back, and he's like, you know, hey, uh, can you just explain to me your address situation? Um... So I tell him exactly what I just said, like, oh, I'm moving soon, that's my mailing address, blah, 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 you know, like, three different things. And I was still super nervous, like, I just get nervous when I'm getting pulled over, like, that's just my reaction. And then, this is the whole point of this video, I know it took me four minutes to get here, but then, he gets, and he says to me, so, who's Kayla? And I'm literally, like, I'm sitting in this seat, like, okay, here's this person in position of power, standing over me, Asking me who my birth name is? Like, I had no clue that that name was still in their systems. So, that was news to me that I could change my name four years ago almost, and they can still see my old name when it pops up. Like, I would have thought that it changed, you know, like, uh, I had no idea. So, I don't know what that's about. I texted one of my friends who's a little more like politics involved and you know understands that stuff more to see if she knew about it but anyway um so that was really fucking startling and like 
the whole drive home, I'm like feeling so much like adrenaline right now because I was so scared. As soon as he said that, it was like, what do I do? You know? So I had to say, well, uh, that's my past self. I transitioned 2016, name change, all that. Then the weird thing is he says to me, oh, this same thing just happened yesterday. I pulled this dude over, but he had an F on his license plate. I mean, sorry, on his license. And I was like, what's that about? And the guy was like, oh, well, I started that, but then the hormones really messed me up. So I just changed. It's just like this weird story about someone detransitioning, I think. But also, I'm not really sure if that person was just trying to protect themselves. Like, I have no clue. So then it's like, is this guy transphobic? Like, what the fuck? And it was just so weird because the whole time it seemed like he was like trying to find something in my car. And being really sketchy, and then all, and then he's all like, knows my old name, and that really makes me feel so scared to know that like, that information is out there. So every, and I've gotten pulled over a few times since uh, changing my name for speeding, and like no one else has mentioned that to me. So that was really like weird that he brought it up. So it's like, what are you playing at? You know, like, and that just makes me feel super, super fucking nervous now. Every time I'm gonna get pulled over, I'm gonna be more nervous. Because I know that they're going to see my old name. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. That really is scary. It's really scary to know that, like, this person who's in a position of power over me, who could beat the shit out of me, or, like, arrest me. He could do whatever the fuck he wants to me if he's transphobic. He has that information over me now. So that is really scary. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I thought I'd make a video about it. Um, sorry it took such a long time to get to that point of the story, but, um, it was really not a fun experience, and so that was a super fun thing to start my birthday off with. Now I'm, like, super fucking, like, adrenaline up, and it's like, how am I gonna sleep tonight? I don't even know. And, like, it's so late at night that literally no one's awake to talk to, so that's why I'm talking to my camera, because, like, Hannah's asleep, and her phone's on airplane mode when she goes to bed. And, like, because we fell asleep on the couch, so that's why I was leaving so late. So, like, I know she's asleep, and, like, and all my friends are asleep. Like, there's no one I can talk to about it. So, here I am on YouTube. Um, it's really, uh, really scary to know that that information is out there. And that this guy, and then he followed me for a really long time. He followed me for so long after... I left where I got pulled over. He was, like, right behind me for so long. I was like, this guy is freaking me out. <laughs> like, freaking me out. Um, anyway, that's that on that. Um, hmm. <sighs> Hope you all guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.